Hi there and assalamu alaikum. In today's video we're going to learn about using CC libraries. We're going to learn how to manage, sync and reuse graphics, colors, styles in our InDesign projects. So let's get started. Creative Cloud Libraries allow you and your colleagues to collect and organize all of your design assets from different projects or devices and apps. It even makes it easy to collaborate with your team and to update, reuse and share assets. So let's create a new document by clicking on the letter template here. And once our document is created, I'm going to grab the pen tool and draw a shape and fill it with some color as well. You'll find CC libraries under window. Mine is already there on the right, so I don't really need to activate it. As you can see, there are two libraries already created by me and to create a library, I need to just click on create new library button on the right and uh, then give it a name. I'm going to name it demo client and uh, hit create. So to add this shape or color card to our library, I'm going to select it and drag it to the library and it will be synced in no time. You can also add graphic assets such as shapes and photos by dragging them directly from your document into the library's panel. So you see it becomes really easy when you're working for multiple clients and have multiple resources or color themes styles, shapes, logos, etc. It becomes very easy to dump them all to the library and have easy access to it anywhere. Not just that, uh, you can even reuse the content for a similar project, for example, to borrow specific colors or similar shapes. It really tends to improve your efficiency and keeps you in the game. Now I'm going to grab the text tool and make a text box and then I'm going to fill it with the placeholder text by right clicking on it. In the paragraph style panel, I'm going to click on the create new style button in the bottom and uh, let's just change the font and the font style and also underline it and uh, hit OK. Now select all of the text through click and drag and select the new paragraph style we just created. Suppose the setting of this paragraph style is something in demand or something I as a designer use very often. So rather than adjusting it each time I create a document, won't it be better to have a template saved? You see the tiny icon sitting quietly on the bottom left corner of the paragraph panel. When you hover your mouse over it, it says add selected style to my current CC library. One click on it will save it to your current library. But be mindful here to ensure that you are on the right CC library else you'd be expecting to save it for client A and would end up saving it for client Z. If you have Creative Cloud subscription, Adobe Stock has thousands of royalty-free images, illustrations and video assets accessible for you in InDesign. You can go to stock.adobe.com or uh, even use the library's panel search bar. When you find the right asset, hover over it and click the cloud icon to download a watermarked preview of the asset or the shopping cart icon to purchase it as well. So suppose I want to have this image transferred to my library. I have three options here. I can download a preview which will be watermarked. I can click on that small heart that you see on the left which will transfer this image to my library but it will also be watermarked or I can click on the camera icon on the right to find similar images. So let's click on the heart to save it to our library. You can see the notification it says saving to default library. Now when we go back to InDesign and click on the default library which is named My Library, you'll find the image sitting there. When I drag it to the document, you can also find it watermarked because I haven't purchased it yet. To purchase it, all I need to do is click on the cart icon on the top left of the thumbnail. In fact, with the Creative Cloud subscription, I do get images for free although there is a monthly limit to it. I'm not sure of the number but that option is still there. 
If you're working on a big project and there is a team that's handling that project, you might feel the need to share your work or color themes, styles, etc. with your team members. So you can easily do that by sharing your library with them. Just click on the contact icon on the top right and you'll get a pop-up menu from where you can add the email addresses of your team members. You can even decide if you want to give them write access or a read-only access and uh, click on invite. This can also be done by clicking on the burger menu on the top and clicking on the invite people option. Also, get link option from the burger menu can produce a link that you can share with your team members using other communication apps. And lastly, to delete the library, click on the burger menu and using the delete option, you can delete the library. The best part is the same libraries can be used in other Adobe applications as well. So you can easily use it with apps like Photoshop or Illustrator and it works like a charm. Alright, so that is all for today. I hope you've learned something from today's video. So if you've enjoyed watching it, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you soon in the next one. Thanks for watching.